In this video, we're gonna be adding some very nice and very affordable tape saturation from Softube. Hi folks, I'm Mike, and I hope you're well. So in my opinion, not that many doors come with good saturation plugins, and there's not that many good free saturation plugins available as well. So it's very handy indeed if you can get a good saturation plugin at a really great price. And that's why I'm making this video today, because my friends over at Plugin Boutique have a really great saturation plugin at a good price at the moment, and that's Softube's tape saturation plugin. Now they did send a copy over for me to try out, but I have to say I'm not being paid for this video, and all of the opinions are my own. We're going to take a look at the plugin now and then we'll talk about the price. So let's take a look at this rather lovely looking plugin. At the bottom left here we have our meters. Now these have a couple of different modes. They can be used as regular level meters or you can switch over here to THD mode which stands for total harmonic distortion and this is useful for monitoring how much of the effect of this plugin you're actually adding to the signal and you'll do that with the color controls over here. The main one here being the amount control. I really do like a control which says exactly what it does. So you will add more or less coloration uh, tape saturation to your signal with this control now this is rather interesting because with a lot of other plugins you would control that you controlling the input level and you may have an input trim control so what you'll do is you'll have uh, your VUs in a regular mode and you'll add more signal until you get it to hover around about 0 DB and above a little bit below okay that's usually the point where you're going to start to hear the effects that you would get with the old hardware as well um, with tape saturation saturation, coloration, all of that good stuff that you're trying to add with this plugin. The problem with that is as you're adding uh, or increasing the signal, you're also increasing the volume, which may affect your interpretation of whether it sounds better or not, because the human brain tends to interpret louder things as sounding better. So you really don't want to do that. So you would normally have to use an output control to counteract that um, so that you're not just making things louder. Now that can be a little bit fiddly, so it's very handy to have just this amount control here, which whilst it does add coloration to the sound, it doesn't actually make it sound any louder or quieter. So I'll demonstrate that now. I'm going to play this song, which I've got this plugin applied to on the master bus. I'm going to start all the way down at zero, and I'll gradually increase it, and you'll hear that although it does change the character of the sound just a little, it doesn't actually make it any louder. You never really say what you see in me, but you say the right words for the things you need. That's what you do. I hang on every call, every word you say. Now the other way that we can change the character of the sound is with these type buttons. And these represent different types of tape machines. And as I switch between them, you'll also see the reel at the top left there change as well, just so you know which mode you're in. Now in, in type mode A, in type A mode, I should say, um, Softube's explanation is that this is based on the emulation of an old Swiss tape machine from around about the 1960s. With type B, it's emulating a transformer-based circuit, and with type C, it's emulating an old British tape machine. So those are the three different types. They're subtle differences, but they are there if you listen very carefully, and we're gonna do that in a moment. Now, the other way that you have to control the sound is with the tape speed. And this has all of the regular speeds that you'll normally find, 30 inches per second, 15 inches per second, 7.5, but it does actually go all the way down to 1 inch per second. Now with the lower speeds, you can get a kind of a warmer, fatter sound, I guess, and it sounds to me a little bit more refined, um, especially up at 30 inches per second, a little bit more of a high fidelity kind of sound there. So I'm going to leave that on 15 for the moment, but I'll play with that a little bit later so you can hear the differences. So those are the major controls, but we do have some hidden controls as well. I love hidden controls. They always feel like a little bit of a bonus. So you click on this bar at the side here to reveal these additional controls. Now, the major thing I'll point out here is you do actually have some input and output controls. So although we can change the character using this amount control, if you really just don't have a strong enough signal, you may find that you want to use the input control. As I say, make sure you match that by counteracting with the output 
output control so you're not just changing the level with the plugin. Now, the other major controls here, starting at the top, we have a dry wet mix here. Now, normally I would personally use this all the way over in wet because this is a very subtle effect anyway. So um, to be honest with you, when it's further down, I struggle to hear much of an effect. You may have better hearing than me and hear the difference, however, so feel free to use this as you wish. But there is a little bit of caution I want to mention about this, but I'll come back to that later. I'm going to move to this uh, next control, which controls the speed stability. And this is basically going to add more of that kind of wobbly, wobbly effect that you get when there is instability um, with tape speed. So I'll play the track now and I'll start off all the way at the bottom and I'll go all the way up to wobbly right at the top and you'll hear the difference let's have a listen you never really say what you see in me but you say the right words for the things you need that's what you so obviously right at the top there, it's probably not something you want often. You may use it as a special effect, but more often than not, you if you do want to add that variation in speed, you may have it much further down here. Now, this is where I've got to add that little bit of caution about the dry wet mix, because remember, you are changing the speed. There's going to be a difference in speed between the dry signal and the wet signal. So if you do have them blended or mixed at all, and I'll do that now, you're going to get some pretty uh, prominent phasing effects. I was going to say dreadful, but they're only dreadful if you don't want them. So uh, phasing effects is what you're going to hear. Now let's have a listen. You never really say what you see in me, but you say the right word. So just be aware of that because you may think that you've got some sort of subtle mix going on here, but you may be introducing phase issues and that could really mess with the sound of your song in undesirable ways. So I'm going to leave that uh, fully on wet and I'm just going to put that just up a little bit so we get a little bit of variation in speed. Uh, the next control is called the high frequency trim and this is just a nice way to uh, have your track sounding a little bit darker or brighter. I hesitate to use the word brighter, I'd, I'd rather say more airy, okay, airy. <laughs> okay, so all the way down here it's going to sound like this. You never really say what you see Add some more. But you say the right words for the things you need. That's what you do. Now I really like this control. Um, the thing about it is, is that I like to add a little bit of sparkle to a lot of my songs, that airiness there. And I prefer to use a saturation plugin like this when it has this kind of control than use EQ. It just sounds a little bit more natural and musical to me when I do that. So that's a really, I'm going to leave that right there because I like the sound of that just there. Now the other control that we have here is crosstalk. So in case you don't know, sometimes um, playheads would pick up the track next to the one that they're playing if you like. So you've got tracks alongside each other on the track so even with a stereo track uh, which is what we're listening to here um, you can add this crosstalk where it picks up a little bit of the other channel so you may or may not want to add more of that it can make it sound all a little bit more organic if you do now just a special mention for studio one users you can use this in a particular way if you have it plugged into i think it's called the mix channel i'll have to look that up quickly bringing it up it's called the mix effect channel I've just had that on my other screen and that also allows you to control cross talk between other tracks so that's just for studio one users for the rest of you it's going to be controlling the cross talk between the left and right channels on a stereo track track like this one now the other control we have down here is a noise control when we switch that on it just adds the noise that you would get with a regular uh, piece of hardware like this now I have to say it's very very subtle I was playing with this earlier on and I did wonder whether whether it was working at all but when I switched my monitors um, and my system here up quite loud and I switched this off and on I could hear the difference can you hear the difference let's give it a go Definitely want to be listening through decent monitors or headphones to hear that. Very subtle indeed. And then finally, we have the run stop buttons here. I'm just going to play with these and you're going to hear what they do. Let's listen to the song. You never really say what you see in me, but you say the <laughs> Fairly obvious what happens when you hit the stop button. Let's play the use the run button. Hang on every... 
So there you have it. That's kind of a special effect thing for me, and, and you may find that useful. I probably are going to find it useful once in every 500 songs, but it is there nonetheless. So that's all of the controls that you have on the major interface here. I'm going to leave these ones intact, and I'll close this here, and I'm going to play the song for a while, and I'm going to let you see if what differences you can hear between the different types and between the different tape speeds. And I'll leave the amount up fairly high so that it's at least reasonably prominent what's happening. I will start off in the bypass position. So I'll switch uh, the plugin off to begin with and it's bypass. That's just off screen. You can't see that. But you'll see the tape start spinning when I switch it on. Then I'm going to go through the different types and then I will change the different speeds as well. Let's have a listen. You never really say what you see in me But you say the right words for the things you need that's what you do I hang on every call, every word you say I'm looking for your heart, but you hide away That's what you do Oh, we've come so far What do you think? Is this the kind of plugin you'd like to have in your collection? Do you like the difference it makes to the sound? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, let me know if you think it's worth the price, which we haven't discussed yet. Currently, Plugin Boutique have 60% off of the cost of this plugin. It normally costs 99 US dollars, but they're selling it for 39 US dollars. Now, in my opinion, if this is a kind of plugin that you're really interested in, you like this one, it's a no brainer. $39 is very cheap indeed for a plugin of this quality. But do let me know what you think in the comments down below. Also, do like this video if you found it enjoyable and useful. If you didn't like it at all, hit the dislike button twice. And if you do like this kind of content, subscribe and ring the bell on YouTube so that you're notified about my future videos. Also, if you would like to support this channel so I can keep making these videos for you guys, then do head over to my Patreon page and become a patron for as little as $1 per month, and that really does help me to keep going with this channel. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you in the next video.